Hello students. In this lecture, we are going to discuss what is the importance of food safety, what is the importance of protective clothing, and what is the importance of hygiene. Let's get started with the basic concepts. For your reference, I have again included the scheme of your examination. This is your scheme and this is the subject which we are pursuing. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the personal hygiene and safety. First of all, we are going to discuss about the introduction to general principles of food hygiene. Then, what is the necessity of personal hygiene? Why we have to maintain the personal hygiene? Thereafter, what are the sanitary practices which you have to follow when you are working in a food industry? These can, can be followed by the use of protective clothing. Now, what is personal hygiene? As we all know, microorganisms live in and on the human body and those that cause foodborne illness are present on the skin, nose, throat and in the gastrointestinal tract. You can see the microorganisms which can cause the disease, they are present in the nose, throat, gastrointestinal tract, in your hand, hand nails, scalp, they are present everywhere. A chain of events link the human carrier of foodborne food poisoning bacteria to the food either directly or indirectly. What does this mean? See when we do not wash our hands properly, the microorganisms they are present on the surface of our hands. When the number increases, they multiply in number and when you eat the food with the dirty hands, they travel in your gut and they multiply and they cause disease. Disease can be foodborne illness. Foodborne illness means that disease which is caused, caused from the food which is loaded with microorganisms. Let me tell you very clearly, again and again we are using the word microorganisms. All microorganisms are not harmful, only pathogenic microorganisms. What are pathogenic microorganisms? Those microorganisms which are disease causing are known as pathogenic microorganisms. So this thing should be very clear in the first lecture itself. When we say the that the disease is being caused, which microorganism is causing the disease? The pathogenic microorganism is causing the disease. So now the question comes. We are talking about that microorganisms, they cause disease. The pathogenic microorganisms, they cause disease. When they grow in number, when they outreach the number, what is the need of doing this? Why do we need to maintain the personal hygiene in food industry? My friends, always remember this thing. When you are going to work in a food industry, you must, you must ensure that you follow personal hygiene. Now the question is, why? First of all, it is the legal responsibility, legal responsibility of the industry in which you are employed. It is their responsibility that the workers, the uh, people who are working there, are they, are they maintaining the good hygiene? Because they are directly in contact with the food which is being packed. So it is the legal responsibility of the industry in which you are employed that the, their employees maintain the personal hygiene. Second is moral obligation. Moral means my. It is my responsibility to maintain the personal hygiene, to take bath every day, to wash my hands prior going to the washroom and after the washroom or after eating, before eating. These are the things which we have to do it. This, that is my moral, my responsibility. Third is sanitation code calls. Sanitation code calls mean that every industry is having some roll calls that these things are to be maintained when a person is working in an industry. That is, sanitation code calls for a high degree of personal cleanliness for all employees in food establishment. Next is, employee must be medically fit. An employee 
suffering from a disease that can be communicated by food or one who is a carrier of food borne disease should not be permitted to work till he is medically fit next is infected person and carrier should be given leave now we understand the word infected person the person who is suffering from some kind of a disease what is a carrier now carrier they are such person that they unknowingly spread the disease producing org organisms which they carry in their bodies means there are no visible signs or symptoms of the disease in a carrier that person is a carrier he or she is carrying the disease when they come in contact with the food or with other people they can spread the disease easily these are known as known as carriers in this slide what we have discussed we have discussed the necessity of personal hygiene the legal responsibility moral obligation sanitation code calls employee must be medically fit and infected person or the carrier should be given leave when we talk about the health of the staff how we have to maintain the health of the staff in such a way that they are in a good condition to work in a food industry so it is the duty of the employer the one who is employing you it's their responsibility to maintain the following things in the industry employee must be in a good state of health good mind and body see when we talk about the healthy body it is a mixture of mind and body the person should be sound sound while working in a food industry routine medical checkups must be there periodic checkups must be there so that we can see who is a carrier who is a person who is having symptoms now it is much more important because of the covid crisis then is the periodic deworming deworming means you have to deworm so that there is no gastrointestinal infection among the staff if one person is suffering from the gastrointestinal problem uh, gastrointestinal problem means the person is having uh, what we called as diarrhea diarrhea is loose motions he or she can spread the infection through the uh, used toilets the washrooms the other person when the person is going to use the same washroom he or she can contract that disease so it's important to do the periodic deworming other thing is illness must be reported if a person is ill he or she must report the manager that i am ill i i want the leave personal hygiene must be maintained lockers restrooms must be cleaned properly and this is the duty of the employee as well as the employer that these things are clean nutritious meal must be provided very important when you work hard in shifts then you must eat nutritious food so that you get the energy you stay positive your mind is good your body is good then working area should be planned appropriately what does this mean it means that working area should be such that it avoids the accidents it should not be uneven the level of working should not be uneven the processing area is level to the packaging area the packaging is level to the distribution area they are all on the same floor so there are less accidents a less accidents means less leaves less leave means that the employer is happy the working the working hours are maintained regularly in this context i would like to say when we say working hours there must be a, an appropriate shift appropriate shift means 9 to 5 or 9 to 7 from 7 to onwards 8 hours or 9 hours is it must be specified very clearly that for these hours you are going to work in an industry and you must be allowed to take leaves 